Hello YouTube, welcome back to another video. In today's video, we're gonna be doing a what if. Being the thumb what if of the, the thumbnail of the what if is right here. This is gonna be a universal intro from now on. So yeah, I'm sorry about that. Until I can get more time, because I do have school, summer school at least, I won't be able to post any really good intros. So this is gonna be in intro for a while. So, hope to see you later. Join the Discord server, link in the description, and let's get in to the what if. Wait, wait, nigga. Alright, guys, so this is part. Five, the final part of what if Deku was Scar's reincarnation. And I know some of you guys are like, yo, this series finally over. We can finally get a new series. And I know some of you guys are happy. I think about it. I had to upload the movie. To you finally get a new series. And if, if, like I said, go go join the Discord. I know I don't always put it in a link in the description. I'm going to update the link that's on my profile. If you go to my channel, and there's a banner. And I'm going to update that link so that you get the link that never expires. I'm going to get that link. I'm going to put it up there so that you guys can go ahead and join the Discord through that. That way I won't have to say join Discord link in the description. But I should automatically just start putting the link in the description for Discord. I really should. So yeah. Sorry about that. Now moving on. Let's get into the final part of this what if now basically as i said this is kind of like the final battle being deku and um um deku and them taking on the pro hero or deku and all my and them taking on the villains now if i'm being honest most other villains are being taken care of by the other pro heroes but deku all might and endeavor are taking trying to fight down all for one now, all pro heroes are making their way towards the UA Sports Fest. Well, actually, I didn't say all pro heroes were there. So, all pro heroes are actually fighting at the Sports Festival. And this is when someone will then speed past, um, past All Might Deku and Endeavor before All Four will then capture the person by their leg. This being... Grand Torino. <laughs> it's all for once is Grand Torino. You're far too slow to land a hit against me. Especially in your old age. As he then throws Grand Torino out of the way, only for sand to appear under him, for Deku to catch him. As all for one then says, Ah, Midoriya, why don't you hand over that quirk and no one no one would get um, hurt? As Deku then says no, before then sending sand that somehow crept upon off one. As off one shouts, saying, "How can this sand creep up on me? I have a dangerous sense well, of sorts." But the reason why is not because most of the time it's just Deku sand filled with chakra, and Deku can actually lower the resonance of the chakra to where it feels like energy that is constantly being output. So it doesn't really give off a sense. And it doesn't have a sense of danger either. Because, well, it's just sand. And because it's not it's not legit a legit quirk, which anytime Deku uses it would give off a dangerous, make a, any danger sense go off. So it doesn't have one for all being used with it. The sand can actually sneak up on off one. As Deku would then say, sand coffin. As this is when Alpha and them break out of the sand before they're saying, that won't happen. As Alpha and them fly up to the sky. Before coming back down with his hand holding a bolt of lightning. He would have said he would have had a lightning or a thunder type quirk for this attack. 
Before Deku remembering what Gara told him about his first tuning exams, or about the finals of his first tuning exams, what happened when Sasuke Shidori had met with his sand? So Deku would then have to charge all of his sand around him with all for one, one for all, causing all for one, all for one throw the sand, which would have actually pierced and killed Deku, to bout, to legit hit the sand and explode, leaving no marks in it. Only for Deku's lightning of the sand to uh, to absorb it, but seeing as how the sand is made, sand magnet release is made up of both lightning and wind release, or uh, not lightning, earth and um, wind release, and I believe light, uh, wind is strong to lightning, so it will actually dis dismantle it. Which I don't get. How was that not possible during the first part of the tuning exams? Maybe because magnet release wasn't really a subject back then, but still, now. <clears throat> Moving on, Deku would have basically then said Shukaku, I see you to enter this mindscape, as I'm going to make all for one on the threat level of pain, or not pain actually, um, of Daedara. If um, um, maybe, oh yeah, on his level of Daedara, where Deku would have to go all out. As Deku would then tell Shukaku, I'm going to need your help. I see Kaku say, Well then, why don't we go at it, partner? As I'm going to do an iconic thing with both Bak with Deku and Shikaku that I did with Nar that Naruto does with Karama. Now, I'm actually currently about to look up a picture of Deku of Gara in a KCM type cloak with Shikaku. So, let me look that picture up and then I'll get back to you. Alright, so I've found the picture, and what you're looking at now will be what if, um, will be what would Deku look like in a KCM variation of Tishukaku's with Shukaku. As this is where a Shukaku made of sand, but it's more of an avatar would appear. As all for one and everyone else will be shocked. As Deku then tells All Might, Grand Trino, and Endeavor to get away, only for All for One to then try to encase them in a spear. But something weird is happening to his power. His power isn't working. All for One cannot no longer move. He doesn't know why. As he then looks down, he's barely able to move, but he looks down to see sand with these weird markings surrounding his leg. As Deku has used the um, magnet release sand on him, which we do know that Naruto's magnet release can probably most like um, with the seals can actually trap someone in place. So I'm going to apply that to this to the sand for right, right now, just since he's using a Shukaku's power. As Deku would then say, Shukaku now. As him and Shukaku would then begin to scream, as they both yell out, Tell Beast Bomb! As they then, Shukaku then begin to power up a Tell Beast Bomb. All for one would then use one of his quirks, which is barely being, a, which he's now barely being able to free himself from the use of the magnet release. Since his time is, since it's so slowly weakening, and it's weakened enough for him to use at least one quirk, being a quirk of forcefully re uh, removing all inhibit inhibitors on him, which means like, like it makes him. I, I don't know what it's called when you, you forcefully, uh, like, um, what is it called? When somebody is keeping you from moving that word, I'm trying to, it forcefully keeps that from applying to him. So he's now able to move it, then puts up a barrier. Barrier being that uh, to protect him from the tail beast bomb has been the tail beast bomb is finally, I mean, finally done. <clears throat> when this, when it is finally done, the bit, um, everyone would look at the smoke to see where all of was at, only to see a barrier had appeared. As Deku would then say, Now, Deku seeing this would then say, Shikaku, 
We're going to have to seal him the way. That's the only way we can do this. How fast do you think we can move into a desert? Pretty fast. As Deku would then have trans I made three sand clones that would then go to one two of them would go to All Might and Endeavor. And then a second will then go to Nezu. Nezu is actually um, at the top of the hero community. So getting Nezu's permission for something will actually get Deku in good graces with the hero community committee instead of just doing it all of his own. As Deku would then have the sand clone. Actually, we're going to say shadow clones, but it's just a sand variation. So, um, a sand shadow clone, I'm going to say. So that he can receive the information back. So with Endeavor and Deck uh, and All Might, the Sand Clones then begin to explain to All Might and Endeavor that Deku wants to t transport All for One to a desert, to where he would then seal him away into a giant pyramid, which will never be able to be unsealed unless it is by him or, Sh or a vessel of Shukaku, or who's the next wielder of One for All. Or one for all. All Might would agree with this, and he uh, he wouldn't say he wouldn't say the next thing. He would then t tell Endeavor about the new about who would ever be the next vessel of the Shukaku. Saying guys how his he would then tell Shukaku that his quirk is pat and that his power is able to be passed on, which is Shukaku. He wouldn't tell him about all for one, but he would, one for all. He would tell him about Shukaku. Shukaku, um, Endeavor would agree with this also. Singles, this man is a powerhouse, and whatever that move that Deku just used wasn't able to take him down, they have no chance of taking him down now, as Alpha One has gotten too powerful for them. As Deku uh, with Nezu, Deku would then say, Nezu, I'm gone. He would then ask Nezu for permission to seal away Alpha One within the deserts of Africa. And he would then tell um, Nezu that no one would be able to ever unseal it unless they were a vessel of Shikaku. As Nezu would have then would have actually seen as a head of Shikaku, as Shikaku would then begin to form his head from Deku's um, cloak. So. Um, in, anyways. So now moving on, uh, moving on, Deku, <clears throat> anyways moving on, Deku would have, um, Nezu would have told Deku that this is a perfect plan, the only the pos only possible way for him to get rid of all for one. She would then ask Deku how long would the seal last, as Deku says the seal should last for thousands and thousands of years with no one being able to break it unless they have Shikaku within them. And he says, but even then, over that time, the seal begins to take away all of his power. And by even by the time of like a hunt by like five years, his power should be fully gone. And by then he'll just be a normal human being sealed away. He'll be a quirk somewhat of a quirkless person, just sealed away for um for those years within the um the seal and this is when Nezu would then go ahead and give the okay as the clones would all disperse giving back the information to Deku as Deku would then say all for one this is it as all Deku then disappears as what's left is a trail of sand as he appears right on all for one all for one can't keep up with him no one's moved this fast, and this is comparable to the speed of KCM1 Naruto. Um, that's how powerful I'm going to make this, uh, how, how strong I'm going to make this Gara, this Deku. And you guys are like, yo, I mean, how fast at least. Not how strong, he could be pretty strong, because it's a Bijou nonetheless. But still, I'm going to make him that fast. And this is when Off One would then feel Deku grab his face before then moving away, like Ichigo did with Aizen. They would then appear in the sands in the deserts of Egypt, or yeah, in the deserts of Egypt. As Off One asks, "Where are we?" As Deku then says, "We're in the deserts of Egypt. Your final resting place." As Off One says, "What?" As Deku then claps his hands, as Deku, 
um, Deku and KCM and his variation of KCM would have full control of all sync around him, whether it has his chakra within him or not. And if it makes him with Shukaku's cloak, Shukaku has control of this sand too. Which is why they would need Shukaku to release him. Deku will then yell out the name Grand Sand Mausoleum Seal. Or no, I'm not gonna have have him say seal yet. I'm actually gonna have him say seal after. So this is when Alpha One begins to scream as the sand then begins to. <clears throat> this is when the um damn. This is when the sand would then begin to surround Alpha One. As Alpha One then begins to scream, "You can't do this! I, I am a god." As Alf as Deku says, "You are no god. You're just a mere person who let power go to their head." As Deku then, as all the sand finally encompasses compasses all for one, as Deku then says, seal. As all for one has finally been defeated. Now, this is where we talk skip to about a month later. Deku's actually been inducted into the pro hero rank, and it's actually been dubbed the new number one hero. All, all Deku and All Might then released did release the information about One for All to the public. Seeing as how it was now Deku's quirk and Deku's decision to tell the public about One for All. Now, with Deku become taking up All Might's new mantle, pro, I'm number one hero and symbol of peace. The government does have legit specifics on Deku, and um. Deku did tell the world about his power being the power of a reincarnation of a very powerful person from a different world. The world is very happy with Deku being the new number one hero. Saying, see, in a lot of worlds, a lot of people then says, how powerful is the other people from whatever world that man came from? That Deku's power, that Deku has the power of. And Deku would be known throughout the ages as the strongest number one hero, Gara. This is where I'm going to be ending off part five of what if, of what if Deku was Gara's reincarnation. I hope you guys have enjoyed the what if I did. Hmm. Join the Discord link in the description. I will actually put it in the description this time, I guess. And, but I will edit it, edit this video after I get home from the pool. So I will see you guys later. Kage out.